Hello, 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 and welcome to my first video on my sparkly brand new YouTube channel. For those of you who already follow me and know me, my name's Paul. I'm a dyspraxic and gay fluid artist. I My Instagram handle is sissyartist. On Facebook, I'm known as sissyart. I have the name Sissy in there because I was called a sissy when I was a child, because I was artistic, and I've decided to have it as part of my brand to reclaim my power. You're not feminine if you do art. You can be very masculine. You can be very feminine. You can be non-binary. It Your gender does not matter and does not dictate your ability to do art, and your ability to do art does not dictate your gender either. I'll get off my soapbox now. Occasionally, I may be on my soapbox. Um, so, yeah, just get used to that, really. My loving, loving people. Um, so, as I say, this is my first video on YouTube. I've created a series of three rainbow pictures that I will be releasing one a week. My aim is to do one video a week. Um, this is the first of the first three that will be released this month, and yeah, it's a rainbow blowout, and I had so much fun doing this. I'm really hoping that you're going to enjoy watching the video and learning a bit about my process and some of the differences that I have in there, because I am dyspraxic. And there's one very major one to a lot of other fluid artists. I will never use a propane torch because I'm dyspraxic and I would set fire somehow to the state of Alabama, even though I'm in the UK. Just, we're that clumsy. So I have an electric heat gun instead, which does pretty much the same job. I'll explain about that when I get to that part of the video. Um, but yeah, sit back, grab a brew and enjoy yourselves. So this piece is done on a 12 by 12 inch square canvas from Arteza, and I'll say what the colours are as they come up. So let's start the playback. I record the audio over the thing because I speak a lot of twaddle, and I actually did this on New Year's Eve. Um, so you would have heard a load of fireworks in the background from my camera. At this point, I am trying to decide how I'm going to get the curve for the gold and the white. Um, this is just X4 series um, acrylic gold paint. Um, all of my paints in this piece are just paint and water. Um, the water used to thin down the acrylic to kind of just a bit thicker than a normal Dutch pour thickness. Um, my white on this piece actually was a little bit thick, and that has, while it's been drying, led to a little bit of cracking. Um, if you get the wrong consistency on your paints, sometimes they crack. The cracking occurs, and just pausing that there with my hand hovering. Um, so the cracking happens when the outer layer of paint dries before the lower layer of paint has had a chance to dry. Um, and as it dries, it contracts. The lower layers of paint are still drying, and the water, so the water is coming out of them. The water has to go somewhere, so it just goes through the very thin plastic film that the drying paint creates. Um, so just explaining what cracking is there. I'll point it out on the um, dried photo at the end. So let's resume playback. And so, yep, yeah. in comes the phthalo turquoise and uh, green turquoise mix. So that's a mix of Pebio um, turquoise green and um, thalo turquoise. This is 
X4 yellow green. Or, no, green yellow, I think. Which is, both of those are gorgeous colours. I'm using the stick there just to mix the two colours in. Had a little spill there. Other colours are going to go over that, so I'm not really worried about getting it completely off the canvas. Um, and in now comes the brilliant blue, which is a lot more lively and brilliant in reality. It doesn't show quite as well next to the phthalo on this. I didn't realise the video capture was going to do that. And then the next bit's coming in. Um, dark cobalt purple. Um, permanent cobalt purple, I think. Uh, I think I'll just edit in the names of the colours, because I'm sure I'm getting them wrong on the playback. So many colours. Um, the fourth video that you'll see at the end of this month. You'll have an idea of the number of colours that I have. Um, so there I'm just mixing the blue in with the purple, because I really want the colours to run over each other, merge and mix, and then on here's coming in a uh, mix of CF primary yellow and Crawford and Black primary yellow. I'd run a bit short of the CF yellow that I was going to use. This is CF acrylic paints again, and it's uh, cadmium orange hue, I believe. I think I actually have got that one wrong. Oh, there we go. Um, and this is a red colour. I... Mm. Transparent Vermilion, I believe. And then here I'm putting some black in. The reason why I put the black in here is I'm this video and the next one were inspired by Olga Sorby who did a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous piece. I will link at the end for the video in the Inspired By box. Um, that looks very similar to this. Is I think, actually pretty much the same size as well, but she works on wood, whereas I work on canvas. And she put black along the edges just for to have the paint blow into something and for it to pop up a bit didn't work that great for her on the video, and the piece is gorgeous, and I think better without that. Um, I decided to do that as well, to see if I could get a different result, see if it would do anything. Spoiler, doesn't do anything, apart from mean that I have to spend a bit more time getting rid of it off the edge where it doesn't work. <laughs> but it's what we do with art. We experiment, we see where we get to. Um, so there we are, putting the black in, just using the mixing stick. If you do, by the way, decide to get mixing sticks, get the bigger, thicker ones. They make mixing so much easier and spreading your paint round. The little lollipop ones, they're, they're not great, to be honest. And there we have my heat gun moving really quite quickly. The video is on two speed, because it takes a while to do these, and there's only so much I can witter on about the painting um, after doing it. I will do one of the... the next set I plan to record with me doing the voiceover while I'm actually painting them. There I'm putting in... Uh, Deco Art Extreme Sheen Pearl. That's to get some more cell reactions and to give a little bit of a highlight and a little bit of a sheen and some iridescence onto the piece. So I'm blowing out from the centre there, mixing the colours in together. Um, some of it I do in a straight line, a lot of the rest of it I do a very minor shake side to side. And when you get to a bit where you've got the colour coming over from one side, sometimes you have to actually blow that colour in, otherwise you won't get the coverage that you want, and get the colours mixing in together, so that you get a goddamn gorgeous result, which 
I definitely did on this one. Um, so then I'm mixing the green into the yellow, the yellow into the orange, the orange into the red, the oranges taking over slightly there, the yellow taking over, and some red there. Um, I layered those colours in such a way that I knew they were going to mix in really well. I do, in a little bit, have to go in and add some extra colour in. But there we go. So at this point, I'm looking at the composition, deciding what I like. Apologies for the slight weird bit there. Um, <coughs> as you can guess there, I had a bit of a frog in my throat. So the bit that I've noticed is the gold hasn't come out. So I'm now layering in some extra gold and layering it into the colours as well. This is where I made the mistake, layering it, layering it into the colours. It just does not show up properly. Um, so I'm blowing out again with the hairdryer there, um, mixing my colours in a little bit more, and trying to get the gold to do a couple of really fun lines into the painting. And it worked to an extent, but I blew too much of the orange over and got rid of the red, so I've had to come back in with some more red on the side there that I'm going to blow in. So that was it for the first bit of the painting. I will now take you in for a video of the dried result. It is, it really is a gorgeous piece. Um, I, I love it so, 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 so much. So let's go in for the dried result. And here we have the dried result. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it's, I love, love, love it. I can't believe I even questioned that big band of gold in there. Oh, so gorgeous. Love it. So I'll take you in for a closer look, some of the details. The gold has... Mm, the white was a bit thick on that one. So the gold has basically cracked through, or the white paint's cracked when it was drying over the gold. But I don't actually mind that. I think it adds to the piece. Um, if you do get that on any of your paintings, just take a very small brush and the colour you want to go over it with, and you can always fill those, those cracks in. No one really notices. But the pleasure that I get from fluid art is what you get is what you get sometimes, and I've done other pieces where I filled in the cracks with a more bright contrasting colour just to show off the beauty of mistakes, and that's still cool. So yeah, but I'm going to leave that on this piece. So let's go in, and can you see the little cells and little bits of lacing that have thrown up with the gold there, and the red going through the yellow, the little bit there is where I thought it was dry and I touched the painting. It wasn't quite as touch dry as one expected. Oh well. Um, it just gets to be a bit more interesting on the piece there. And then we've got the yellow, go. so you've got the red going into the orange. I love how these colours have blended in. Going into the green, a big pop of green in there. A little bit less of the turquoise going into the bright blue and the purple, which has come out really dark because of the black that was in that. I actually quite like that though, I like the contrast. Um, and you've got the little pops of gold there coming up. I might um, go in and add a few more lines of gold with a brush afterwards, but I don't think I'm going to, to be honest. So yeah, that is the piece. It's amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video, the first in the Rainbow series. Um, that has looked at the piece on the left. Next week we're going to be looking at the piece on the right and how I created that. Um, please like 
the video, please share it, please subscribe to the channel, it does so much for the algorithm that YouTube has. And yeah, let's have an amazingly fantastic, fabulous week, and I will see you next time. Bye!